All right, in order to set tell me when to track diminishing returns, right click one of the boxes, go all the way down to this section called diminishing returns. Click on that and it says what to track. You just want to type in the two letters DR. And up here, the top six options up here are going to be all the different types of DRs in the game that it will track. Let's say for exa uh, example, a stun because I have asphyxiate. Who to watch? I type in target. And I'll just click that just in case. And then down here, it shows the undiminished and diminished. Uh, I do not like to have it undiminished because because it's an extra icon that will just permanently be on my screen. So if I just leave it as is and I turn tell me when off, I look at my target, it will just stay there the whole time until I get stunned. When I get stunned, that will disappear. What I'd rather do instead is I turn it all the way down when undiminished all the way down to hidden. And only when I'm diminished will I have it pop up. I like to put on show timer and show timer text. If you have just show timer, it will only show just the uh, global wheel. So I'm going to enable both of these and usually this is all I really do for any DRs. So this is for a DR stun right there and I press OK. I turn off, tell me when, and for an example, I'm going to stun this thing. And once the stun is over, it will pop up. You'll see the timer text and it will be 50% diminished right there. If you want it to be, look cleaner and just have the global circle global clockwise circle to expire by itself click off show timer text and then the next time you stun a target it will only pop up after the stun itself is expired so watch out for accumulated stuns and as you can see here it just shows 50 percent it doesn't show how long you have to tick down it'll just say flat out 50 percent and the next stun will be 25 percent and then zero percent if that timer does not expire and you use a stun on it. Even if you have literally one second left on the ex expire from 50% and you stun someone for two seconds, that timer will pop back up for 25% and it will start recycling from the beginning all over again. You have to wait that much longer before you can apply a full CC on the target. So basically, yeah, that's the gist of how to set up how to track different types of DRs. You can track that with each box, just right click and drag it out. You put split into new group. You have another box right here you can play with. Right click that. And if I want to see track of diminishing returns on me, I just type in DR, click on stun, lower on diminished, raise the diminished, show timers. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Now I can see if I'm going to get stunned with this icon here. If I do tell me when I disappear, well, it's not going to show it because I have no idea how to stun myself. All right, hope you all learned something.